What's going on guys? GTA for Life 6096 here. I got a video coming at you guys. We're going to be reviewing 99 overall Eric Dickerson. One of my favorite running backs of all time, really. Um He's just he's he's a really good running back. Uh and I although I never got to watch him play, you know, you look at his highlights and you're just like, wow, this guy this guy really was an amazing uh, running back and definitely one of the greatest of all time. I believe he holds the record too. I think it was like uh most was it most yards in a season? I I'm not sure, but um Let's look at the stats real quick. 97 speed, 100 acceleration. Um, you know he's gonna be real quick with the acceleration. Um, he's gonna get off the line quick. 96 carry, which is pretty decent. 98 agility. Uh, 98 elusiveness. 94 trucking. 99 juke movement. 93 ball carrier vision. The back of the card, you see 84 strength. Also has 80 catching. Um, 65 pass block, which is is pretty decent for a running back. 93 jumping. Um, 101 stiff arm. <laughs> Uh, had a lot of fun using the stiff arm. Um, 92 spin move, which is pretty good. Um, take a look at a little bit of his stats, of the stats. Um, 79 catch of traffic, 67 spectacular catch, 66 route running, and 76 release. Um, let's go ahead and compare him to a couple other running backs I want to look at, and um, then we'll get into the gameplay. I wanted to compare uh, Dickerson to the Clinton Portis that everyone has. Um, I just I sold him and ended up picking up Dickerson. But as you can see, same speed. Um, uh, as you can see, Portis has better carry, um, better trucking. But that's about it, you know. Um, Dickerson really sweeps him and everything else, really. Um, but the thing that I love about this Dickerson card is he has all the traits that you want in a running back. He fights for extra yards. I'm not sure if he braces against medium hitters or big hitters. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at that. But he um he fights for extra yards. He's clutch, and he's a high motor. So he's gonna he's gonna go hard in every play. He's gonna break tackles every play. Whereas with the Portis, you really didn't see that with him. Uh, he was inconsistent in breaking tackles. Um, I mean, while he did break a lot of tackles, because you guys see my review on it, I feel like um he was always going down after the first the first tackle, the first time someone went to tackle him. So that's that. Um. Also reviewing him to the Murray. The Murray has better speed, uh, better uh, vision, better elusiveness, uh, and better trucking. But that's going to be it, you know. You see Dickerson has better agility, uh, better acceleration by one, really. But uh, two better carry um, and better juke move. Um, I really want to review this Murray. We might have, we just might have to sell the Dickerson and pick up the Murray just to review him. But we're definitely going to go back to the, <laughs> the Dickerson right after because... No matter how good this Murray plays, I'm going to keep this Dickerson on my squad for the rest of the year. I'm definitely, definitely going to have to do that. So yeah, let's go and get into the gameplay, guys. So, the ultimate legendary Dickerson. I had a fucking blast playing with this card. I mean, it was just so, like, fast. Like, his acceleration was perfect. He was able to get off the, off the line of scrimmage super fast right here. I cut direction. I mean, his agility was nice, too. I was able to cut direction and, and you know in a heartbeat, so it was definitely just a fun thing to do, he broke a shit ton of tackles, you know, I mean, definitely having 98 elusiveness is gonna help you, um, and it's really not else you could really ask for in this card, um, uh, he didn't fumble once, like, let me repeat that, he didn't fumble once, 96 carry, you'd think sometime in that span of gameplay, there'd be well, at least one fumble, but no, he does not fumble, he didn't even get hit sticked. I mean, I, I see him getting hit by some big hitters. I uh, okay, maybe I take that back. He probably got hit sticked like probably like three times by. I remember one of them was Roy Williams, a strong safety, um, the big hitter. Uh, one of them I think was Von Miller. I'm not sure, but uh, you know, just a bunch of them. Look right here. I'm able to juke. He breaks the tackle. He's off to the races. You know, um, he was just uh, like I said. He was a, he was a blast to play with. But like I said, the Clint Portis had 99, or matter of fact, 100 carry, but he fumbled once, whereas Dickerson had 96 carry, he didn't fumble a single time for me, uh, in the, the amount of games I played, which was like 5, I played like 5 to 6 games, I think, and, um, you know, yeah. So right here, we're doing outside runs, I believe, right here, I think we, we just got done doing inside runs, um, and right here, we're just doing pitches, tosses, um, like, halfback stretches and stuff. The thing about this card was, in the red zone, you could not be stopped. I give him a 10 out of 10 in the red zone. I mean, I felt like, no matter, even if you knew it was going to be a, a toss to the outside in the red zone, like, five yards in, you, you still weren't going to be able to get him because he was just too quick for the defense. I mean, 
no one could catch up to him, you know, it was just, it was amazing, and, um, i seen a lot of stiff arms with him, he had the, he was given defender of that Mike Tyson treatment, definitely, with those crazy, uh, punch stiff arms, you'll probably see him coming up in a couple clips, but, um, you know, like I said, I had tons of fun playing with this card, you know, he's a great card, I love this legend card, um, It'd be a dream come true to have this boss card, but this one's gonna suit me right for now. Um, and, you know, yeah, so, I paid uh, probably 130000 for this card. Um, yeah, 130000 I remember. Um, he's going to, like, 120 now. He, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a roller coaster with his prices, you know. On the weekend, he's really low. On the, on the weekdays, he's really high. So, if you want to get this card, you gotta wait for the weekend. You're definitely gonna wait, wanna wait for the weekend. Right here is just, uh, pretty much fails, whether it was, uh, you know, stuff for loss, tackle for loss, um, you know, a drop pass. Either way, he was just getting, I felt like he went down after the first hit, but, I mean, it was, it was completely reasonable, you know, you had Lawrence Taylor on the outside that I was trying to run towards, and Lawrence Taylor's a sure tackler, you know, you're not gonna be able to get away from him no matter which running back you are. Um, but I paid 130000 for this card, and I think that he's... He's worth about, yeah, I'd say 120000 you know. I think it's a great price for the card. Um, right here, we try to go, <laughs> we try to go deep on the, on the pass, a couple, like a 10-yard pass, it didn't work. But right there, we truck Rod Woodson, and, you know, this card was just, he was an absolute monster, you know. His height, his frame definitely made it able for, made it, uh, enabled him to fall for more yards. Um... Yeah, um, so overall, I'd probably give this card, um, eh, I'd probably give him a, a 9 out of 10, just for the fact that his hands weren't the best, he wasn't no Matt Forte at catching. If he was, then it would have been a 10 out of 10, but you know, like I said before, you can't have a running back doing all that, but right there you see the Mike Tyson treatment. <laughs> he was on the knockout, you know, he should be a UFC fighter with these stiff arms. <laughs> But yeah, um, so that's, that's gonna be probably it, um, I'll let you guys just enjoy this, uh, you know, the music in the background and the highlights that we're getting over here with the Dickerson. But yeah, I want you guys to tell me that, you guys gotta tell me who you want me to review, I mean, I see I'm getting a lot of views, I'm getting a lot of likes, um, but you guys gotta comment, you guys gotta tell me who you want me to review, um, I got a couple people who are telling me you want me to review, um, I think it was... I don't know, I gotta check, but, um, oh, I heard, uh, 97 Jordy Nelson, um, definitely that, that's gotta be coming up soon, his price is dropping, but, um, you know, yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm, uh, see you guys later for the next review and the next video, we definitely got the Until Dawn game, so that's gonna be the video, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later, peace, take care.